their evil ways are being exposed. See, some people are so evil, but they always make sure they're behind the scenes with it. They always make sure they're sneaky with it. But on the surface, they're your everyday American stand-up citizen, <laughs> right? No problems, everything goes good. Never anything wrong with them. Constantly everything wrong with everybody else. But they're never bold enough to just say it, right? It's always some passive-aggressive, sneaky, slimy way that they go out doing what they want to do. And this is the situation with you. See, certain people were so backhanded in their ways regarding you that it ended up tarnishing their own lives because everything that they did to ruin your life was meant to never be exposed. See, these are the people that will sit in people's face and everything will be fine, but they do the most dirt behind the scenes. These are the people that will talk about and try to gather up and find out everybody's problems. But come to find out, they have the biggest problems hiding in their closet, right? They have the biggest monsters hiding under their bed as far as what they're doing when nobody's looking. See, they try to hate on you because you're you. You don't have to hide nothing. Right? Personality is your personality, and you're like, take it how you want to take it. <laughs> you're not stepping on no toes. You're not disrespecting anybody. Why would you be apologetic or timid about your personality? But these people are the complete opposite. They're so timid and weak-minded. They can never just come out and be themselves. So they throw on mask after mask after mask after mask. And all these masks do is distract people from the truth and distract themselves from the truth. But now people are waking up. People are understanding that what comes out of your mouth is the truth because the Most High God speaks to you, right? The Most High God uses you. So anybody that comes up against you will be exposed for their evil ways, no matter how much pride they have, no matter how arrogant they are, no matter how Sir, Captain, sir, we run it all. We know so much. We have so much power. Okay. Okay. You got it. Well, guess what? Even you have monsters and skeletons in your closet because these people did evil things to get what they got and thought that nobody would ever find out because they're so buddy-buddy, right? They keep secrets so good. Well, if they keep secrets so good, then how come everybody knows each other's secrets? But for so long, it was just amongst each other. So they were so kosher with that. But now that they've came up against you, that's spreading to the world. Wifey didn't check their laptop. They're wondering why she want to sleep in the next room. She making excuses randomly. You feel me? They ain't come together and cohabitated in like three months she making up excuses for why or whatever the case may be yeah she found that bro she knows she's not gonna tell you she knows because she's trying to figure out how she's gonna go about this divorce but just know all your little buddies your work buddies super high up buddy buddy yeah she told all of them too so that's why they've been treating you so funny in the coffee room <laughs> mr big boss <laughs> right mr buddy <laughs> but guess what when these people were coming up against you, trying to expose you for something that you weren't, and they knew that you weren't, so they had to create lies and create a narrative to push that story. It was all fun and games. It was all kosher. Well, now get ready for it to be all kosher when they deal with the outcome of all their little dirty secrets, but it's not a lie. It's the truth. This is why you sit down and stay in your place when dealing with your chosen one. This is why it's better to just be yourself up front. And if people don't accept you, they don't accept you. But the problem with throwing on the mask and faking that people can't accept is when you're real, they can accept you're real because you're like, hey, this is what it is. But when you fake it, 
they don't know what you have going on in the sense that you're not being authentic. So if you're faking your problems and you're hiding your personality, that's how secrets and evil ways and darkness continues to grow because it's not exposed. And nobody feels like they have to tuck their tail and stop unless they're exposed nowadays. I don't know what that is. They can't just look in the mirror and be a whole person just for the sake of being a whole person. People have to know about it. They got to be embarrassed. Now all of a sudden they want to change. And this is these people. And God knows this. He told them behind the scenes multiple times. He used you to tell them behind the scenes multiple times. They wanted to listen to what they wanted to listen to. God tried to avoid the embarrassment. God tried to avoid the divorce. And God don't even approve of divorce. But guess what? When your wifey opened that laptop and went to God, he was like, I'm going to approve this one. <laughs> it's that bad. Yeah. <laughs> but guess what? When they were coming up against you doing all these things, they thought it was that bad. Well, guess what? Now it's that good. Now it's that great. And now their life is shattering due to their own actions, due to their own flaws that they were so uneager to embrace, that they were so reluctant to just own up to. Nobody's perfect, right? But everybody had to be unperfect but them. Because they're there in our group. They got our position. <laughs> okay, well, enjoy your position. I hope it helps you. God bless you. Because <laughs> the trials and tribulations that he showed me you're going to go through, you're going to need all the blessings you can get. You feel me? But it's only God bless you if that's his will for your life. So go to him and see if that's his will. <laughs> go ahead. Go see if it's his will. Okay, moving on. Like I said, these people did what they did. And they were so secretive about it because they thought you were so small. They thought you were a pup. They looked at you like an ant. They looked at you like a nobody. And now they wake up every day, feel like a nobody, talk like a nobody, walk like a nobody. Wifey lost respect for him. She's getting ready to hit the door. Kids talk to him all type of way. Don't respect them. Energy bad. Coworkers turn on them, betraying them, right? Car problems, car breaking down. Buy another one. That one break down. Buy another one. Fender bender. <laughs> I wonder what's going on. Like, what's... What's happening? <clears throat> what happened to uh, the voodoo, hoodoo, Harry Potter with the wand people, right? You was walking through the house feeling like Harry Potter. <laughs> Harry Potter, right? When things were happening in the Chosen One's lives, now their lives are encountering problems. And... I don't know. There's some sort of confusion. There's some type of discombobulation. There's some type of irritation. But guess what? Nobody cares if they're irritated because emotions don't run this world. Period. You sit down at big tables and you come to the table talking about, oh, I'm irritated. Boy, what? Somebody get this dude a cookie and a water bottle and send him on his way. Grab him an Uber. <laughs> We're making big decisions, bro. We don't got time to make those decisions with our emotions. Right? Especially coming through the gate, bro. You have no explanation for doing or saying what you're doing. You're just mad at being wrong. You're mad because you're evil. Bye. Feel me? Keep pushing. Keep moving. Know that nothing goes unseen. And these people are currently in the process of being exposed. Some people want to believe it. Some people don't. But if you know, these people are going to be exposed for their evil demonic, sick ways regarding your life. Don't you be afraid to hop down in that comment section and say, all things done in the dark will come to the light. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. I love you guys. Make sure you guys hop down there. Join the membership program. Make sure you guys hop down there. Light this thing up. Share this thing up. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell button. So we keep in the loop every time we drop. I'll catch you guys on the next one.